let's get some, um, some easy links. Think about any partners or authorities or suppliers. Gary did this really well a couple of months ago and he gave me a call to tell about it. Um, Gary runs a print management company, probably the best print house in Australia, in the world. <laughs> if not the world. Um, and uh, he, he's got some fantastic clients as well, uh, working with uh, Yarra Trams, um, and he built up a really good relationship with them and talked to them. They have like a suppliers page and he got them on Yarra Trams of all things, a link back to his website saying that he's a supplier for, hi for him. So what I would do is think about in your space, if there are any experts or authorities that you're networking with or suppliers or anyone that you can easily get links from or references to. Don't just think about just getting the link, but think about who might have your target market and actually having a link on their website would be relevant and interesting for them to link back to you. So they had a suppliers page, so Gary got a link on that. So, and that's, that's a pretty good endorsement as well. So I would start off by, that's kind of what this first little uh, ring, I've, I've written it in red, but that's gonna, I'd like an orange. I don't know if I'm gonna have an orange. Let's, it's actually a couple up from the, uh, the graphic that's on the back of your book. You'll actually note the, the, on the back of the book is the actual, the method on how it actually looks. But picking up any easy links by suppliers and authorities, I'll talk about guest posts a little bit later, but if you've got any easy ones, just go for those first. Then for directories, and I think this will probably diminish over time, um, but directories still are an important ranking factor, particularly for localised search. So we're talking about ranking on Google Maps. Uh, particularly, there's even a little bit of a loophole. Like I said, their loopholes still exist, but they close. One of the real important ranking factors at the moment uh, is Google looks at your Yelp reviews and things like that. Now, Yelp's not even big here in Australia, but it's huge over in the States. So actually getting a very good Yelp listing and having that linking back to you with, with some good reviews can actually kind of give you a little bit of a boost in the local search. If you're a local business, you know, geographically targeted, things like that will close over time. But there are some ones, I just listed a few of the more well-known sort of Australian-based ones. It's worth doing, manually submit it though, actually get a team member to do it and do it by hand. Um, I, I, I'm unsure how relevant that will be in time to come, but I don't think it's going to hurt you. So then we've got uh, directories uh, and reviews. So reviews are another interesting, so we'll have a look at green. So then we've got the reviews. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll just make sure I talk about that. We kind of already touched on this, the idea of Google Now and what Google's actually doing. This idea of they really want to personalise search. Localization is very, very important. So we're going to actually see search results change and what one person actually sees when you search on Google and what I see that I search on Google could in future be very, very different because Google has all this information about us and they're trying to serve the best and most relevant result to me specifically with everything that they know about me. So that's why I thought these directories, um, I don't think they're going to be relying on the directories as much. They've got their own data that they're going to be tapping into at the moment. So that's kind of what that was in reference to. But this next layer up here uh, reviews. So reviews, these are still quite important. They're effectively, they're um, testimonials. So reviews up here. Now, some industries are uh, more relevant to having reviews than others. So if you're in the food or the travel, for example, you've got to be across all of the different review sites. Your, your business can be made or broken based on what people are saying about you on some of these platforms. I don't know, just get a little bit of an idea. When someone goes out for dinner, who actually uses something like Urban Spoon? Yeah, oh yeah, see, good number of people. TripAdvisor, that's another one. When you're traveling overseas, you can have a look at different attractions and things like that. So they're very, very relevant. I, I would be in those places, make sure that it's well filled out as best as you can and see what you can do. I mean, David Jackson was talking about a very cool, cool thing. Uh, there you go. You oh, it's James Jackson, wow. I've got that, <laughs> that uh, afternoon <laughs> brain. Um, yeah, uh, he's got a very cool thing that encourages reviews from your uh, clients. And this is something that you should be doing. As part of when someone does business with you, you want them to go post a Google Plus review about you or um, go post a, a relevant review on one of these different websites. If you can encourage that, it's a good idea. 
So we kind of start off with, these are just kind of some basics worth doing. Um, we need to collect the reviews in the local directories. They'll point back to you down here. We'll also pick up any easy links that we can. Usually the easy links here, they're most likely going to point back through to your home page. And more often than not, these easy links, it's best to do it with your actual company name, so the brand term. That was the other big change with Penguin. It's the, the uh, anchor text. People were heavily uh, optimizing themselves for the keyword that they wanted to rank for. And then Google dialed that way back and said, hey, we don't necessarily need to see every one of your backlinks with the keyword that you're trying to rank for in that. Because we know if you're trying to do that, it's kind of like you're trying to manipulate the rankings. So what they want to see is brand terms linking back to your website with your URL and things like that. So